welcome to the second episode in which we are looking at the 2020 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. So in the first episode we covered question 1 through 3. So let us look at question 4. So as I, let me just try to zoom in so that you are able to follow me along. So question 4 is factorize completely 6ax minus 4ay minus 3bx plus 2by. So in this case, what we do is we have uh, these. So 6ax minus 4ay, then minus 3bx plus 2by. So these two we can fact out what is common and also these two we can fact out what is common so that's what we're going to do okay so let us start with the first one so we know that there's a number which can go into six and a four and that number is a two then we have a here and we have a this side so we can fact out that a so we have two a into six a x we remain with three x then 2a into minus 4ay, a and a cancels, 2 into negative 4 is negative 2, then y, the first part. Then the second part, what is common between these two? So we know that b is found here and b this side. There is a number, the one number that can go into 3 and the 1 is a, is, 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 and, and the 2 is a 1. So the only thing that is common in between these two is a minus a b. So just a b. So we can take out the b with a negative. So what we say is negative b into negative 3bx, we get basically 3x. Because a negative into a negative is a positive. So a negative divided by a negative number is a positive. Then negative b into positive 2by uh, is basically minus 2y. Because a negative into a positive number is basically uh, a negative. So what you notice here is these two, they should be the same. If they're different, then you would have made a mistake. Then we can factor out these. Factor out this one because it's common both. So we can factor out 3x minus 2y. So this into this one, the whole thing here will remain with basically uh, a 2a. Then similarly, the same which we factored out into this one, it cancels with this one, remain with minus b. So basically, this is our final answer that you need. You can't simplify further than that for you to get the two marks in this case. Okay, let us move to question 5. So question 5 leads, given that a is, a, a is the point negative 2 comma 1 and b is the point 1 comma 5 find a b so find the distance between a and b so the distance basically a b distance a b in this case is given by so you find the difference the change in the y y1 minus y2 minus y1 then you square that then plus basically x2 minus x1 then you square then you find the square root of this and that's the difference so basically we have two points point a then point b so what you are saying is what is the distance so the distance is measured by the change in the y-axis and the change in the x-axis then those you square the differences then it give you the proper distance so that's what it means so in this case so we have basically we shall call this to be point two this is point one so the value of y here is basically a 5 minus the value of y here is a 1. Then you square the difference, then plus the value of x here is a 1. Then the value of x here is a negative 2. So 1 minus a negative 2, then you square the answer. Then this, after you square the answer, then you need to find the square root. So 5 minus 1 is a 4, 4 times 4 is 16 because 4 square is 16 then plus uh, 1 minus negative 2 is a positive 3 remember you are from the positive then you are from negative you are going to the positive okay so there is a zero in between so the difference there is basically you just add so it's a 3 3 times 3 is a 9 
then 16 plus 9 is 25 so we are trying to find the square root of this what's the square root of 25 so the square root of 25 is basically 5 so 5 is basically the answer in this case so that's how you get the two marks let us move to question number six so question six leads use set notation to describe the shaded region in the diagram below so what you are going to notice here in this case we have this set and this set is coming from q intersection r but so out of the q intersection r we are not including the part which is in p so what you start with you can start with q intersection r as the entire this region then we don't want anything that is found in p in this q intersection r so what it means now here because we are taking away p we are taking away p or we are taking away a set from the other notation the taking away is a complement so what you are saying is now becomes intersection p complement so what you are saying is whatever is found whatever is found in q and r at the same time you remove whatever is found in p that's what it means or alternatively you can start with p p complement what is not in p okay you intersect it with what is in q and r at the same time then you end up with p in complement intersection q r okay so p complement intersection what is in q and r what is in q intersection r that's what it means so either of these two are correct it doesn't matter how you write it but all of them they are correct whether you start with p or you still end up with the same answer so basically this is how you answer question six to get the two marks